I'm Glenn Gorkowitz. I'm a, an associate scientist in the Physical Oceanography Department. We're working as a team of scientists to study the mixing of waters between the continental shelf and the deep ocean. Uh, this is a time of uh, change in coastal oceanography as a lot of the advances in ocean technology, uh, many of them developed at the Woods Hole Oceanographic, are being brought to bear. So we're coming up with new concepts for a coastal observatory to study these processes. Because these problems are so difficult and, and involve a variety of different sub-disciplines of oceanography, biology, chemistry, physical oceanography, it's absolutely critical now that the advances in technology are really bearing fruit for working scientists like myself who go out to sea quite frequently. The maturity of autonomous underwater vehicles is a really important part of this. We've been able to make spot measurements within the ocean using moorings for a long time, but one of the things that that doesn't really capture is the spatial variation of things like the, the fresh water fields, uh, like the temperature anomalies that, that we think propagate down along the continental shelf. The use of these autonomous underwater vehicles gives us a whole new view of the coastal ocean and its adjoining uh, continental slope in a manner that, that will probably be similar to the revolution that, that satellites brought to oceanography. We had no idea 30 years ago that there were so many small-scale turbulent features in the ocean, uh, particularly in the coastal ocean, and the use of satellite thermal Im imagery really provided a revolution in, in our understanding. One of the important things about this new coastal observatory concept is that it allows you to go, for example, large distances offshore and communicate with these, these self-powered moorings and with the docking stations and control the autonomous underwater vehicles remotely. This is very important because it gives you the flexibility now to literally sit at your office and react to, for example, satellite thermal fields where you see actual ocean features, uh, ocean eddies, uh, the response immediately after storms. Uh, there, there are a number of other scenarios in which individual events will be able to be sampled adapt adaptively and it gives us so much finer precision over the actual sampling. In the long term, it's also cheaper than putting ships out for six months at a time. We're not really capable of doing that uh, and measuring on these smaller scales. This conceptual design developed out of, of a series of meetings by scientists over many years. It's part of a huge collaborative effort from scientists from many institutions. This is a mobile array. Uh, it, it has the term pioneer array. And essentially, we'll be able to deploy this array in other regions uh, over time so that what we learn about, for example, at the shelf break south of New England, we can then apply to other regions such as the West Coast or the Gulf of Mexico. And we think that this integrated observatory concept will be used in a wide variety of environments, possibly even including polar environments in the future. And so it really is a stepping stone, I think, to understanding these general processes in, in a wide variety of, of coastal environments. Okay, good. This podcast is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. For more information, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.